Tonight we have an all-star lineup in the starting position. Tonight we have amazing spontaneously KFC finger licking kicking chicken national dex number 256 Combuskin. In the second position we have the real fan favorite this evening. All the way from the frigid French fried Galos region, the Firebird herself, Fletch in. From the depths of fiery hell, guardian of black Tartaros, champion, companion to the infernal fallen one himself, in the third slot tonight, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for... Thank you. Hello viewers, look at your phone, now back to me, now back at your phone, now back to me, now I'm a horse or am I? Actually, I'm the announcer now at LOL JK, I'm the fourth position tonight, Zara. What? And now in the fifth position tonight, we got a real treat for ya. Standing at an impressive 307, weighing in this evening at 55.1 pounds, the tips of its fangs are slanted backward. Once those fangs clamp down, the prey has no hope of escape the thunder from down under crocodile. Please clap. And now our final entry, it moves along the ground as if sliding. Its swift movements befuddle its foes, and it then attacks with a vine whip. It's servile. Deal with it. And we're back. <laughs> I've got a guest in here today. Uh, I got John with me, longtime friend of uh, the the channel. Actually, been on a few videos in the past. Um, on my oh well, not this channel, I guess, but my old channel. Um, <laughs> he's si sitting next to me, and he didn't silence his fucking phone. So you totally just heard that, John. You want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Yup. Okay. Sup? Okay, no further information. <laughs> so we're just gonna kind of fucking dick around and play this game. Um, there we go. Who the fuck is this guy? I, I don't. F I think he works for the fucking Devon Corporation or something, which is for. The oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, this is a hack of Emerald, by the way. I didn't tell you that. Um. John doesn't really know what we do on this fucking thing, so I'm just going to fill him in quick. We just kind of talk about absolutely nothing. It's it's usually not related to this game. This game is sort of just a peripheral at this point for everything else. So, yeah, it's just um, something to look at while we talk about fun shit like strippers, hookers, cocaine, and all, all, all things satanic. All, all, thi all, th all things I don't, I don't partake in it anymore. anymore. I'm, a, I'm a boring person now. I'm not. I've, cho I've chosen a life of monogamy. <laughs> He's chosen a life of monogamy, and I've chosen a life of strippers. Low kick. Is that more? Yeah. 
Fuck, that's a weight base. Fuck that. I feel, I feel like that's just a dick punch. Like, no, there is actually a, a move that's called Sucker Punch, so... I feel like that sh that move should be renamed fuck, to Dick Punch. Yeah, d no, uh, fuck off. I forgot I reconfigured the fucking D-pad. Oh, wait a minute. God damn it, I keep hitting the same fucking button. Stop. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, okay, so Spencer and Mike come in last night and they buy alcohol. And we're, we're just talking about some dumb shit. Then I get a phone call last night, right? Because, <laughs> do you have any new Ford Selects? So, like a dumbass, I go looking for it. <laughs> and then the voice over the phone goes, yeah, I've been smoking crack all night. I need something to take the edge off. <laughs> I appreciate what you're doing. It's Halloween. I get it. I just want to thank you. Because I'm having a miserable evening. <laughs> they come in later. And I didn't know it was them before. And they go, you got any fucking new ones? <laughs> so I used to do this bit about... Because um, I guess the way it started is Spencer... Uh, Spencer's friend Mike, who's friends with me, um, his mom actually sounds like that. <laughs> that poor bitch. And then, <laughs> he needed new poor. And then I turned it from. I did a whole bit where it was like, uh, oh fuck, how did it go? Um, <laughs> kit, kit. Oh yeah, don't smoke, don't smoke camels. Camels gives you the cancers. The new, new ports is, new, new ports is cancers freeze. I got, I got a pack of cigarettes right here. It says, okay, this is the camels. It's Surgeon General's warning: smoking by pregnant women may result in fetal injury, premature birth, and low birth weight. Those are my, oh, no, those are my new ports. My the camels, they, they. <laughs> The camels, they say they cause it the cancers. I, I ain't having no more babies, so I don't have to worry about the low birth weight. I, I, I found my brand. <laughs> so, fucking John, what have you been up to? I know I, ha I literally just got off work a few hours ago. Going about, bouncing around the country. Yeah, so you've been at home or, like, clean the house today, right? Like, Oh, good old what's her name? Yeah, picked the house up a little bit. Trying to get ready for the move in a couple of months here. Oh, yeah, where are you moving? Back to Ohio. Yeah. You got family out there? Or? Uh, I've got some I got some pretty, pretty great friends out there. Yeah. You said you were waiting for some update for some fucking game to drop. Oh, yeah. Warframe. Fucking Plane of Eidolon update. Really? I, I don't know anything update. about this fucking game. You want to fill me in a little bit? Uh, ninja, parkour, space, bunch of dope ass shit fucking everywhere. It's, it's pretty tits. Pretty fucking tits. Cool. Like, uh, is it like a first person shooter or? Third person. Okay, third person. It's like a third person destiny, but instead of getting three classes, you get like 40 with four different supers. Like four different alts. It sounds like League in third person. Um, yes, except for you don't. It's not like a strategy game. There's like ninja parkour and shit. Oh, okay. Like you can do like a triple backflip off like the side of a wall, shoot like six arrows, peg six different people in the face and just like keep sliding. Oh, that's neat. Kind of like, how the fuck was that one game? Not, was it Bulletstorm that did like the whole like slide I and shoot I don't know, I've shit? never been really keen on like shooters in general except for fallout which is barely a shooter if i'm being completely honest oh yeah no on on fallout 4 i have a uh because fallout's got that vats assist thing where it's just like you don't have to be accurate you just have to manage your points well oh yeah well to be honest in my in my current fallout playthrough i'm just using a uh power fist with a rubar attachment and i have nicknamed it the black and decker twat wrecker <laughs> All I do is go around and uppercut the people. The fucking what now? The Black and Decker twat wrecker. <laughs> V2. Oh, fucking Christ, John. 
Uh, what do I want here? Yeah, I'm trying to remember what I use. I think I use this your standard pipe pistol. Uh, I forgot what attachments I have on it. It's I know it's got a silencer, an extended magazine. It's got the reticle sight and not the extended zoom because I like to hip fire. And I'm pretty good at what would you call it? So, uh, I don't want to say no scoping because it sounds really faggy, but that that's pretty is, is essentially what it is. Blind firing. Uh, not not, even, not so much blind, just sort of like. Firing from the hip in general. What the fuck is this old lady? What the? Oh my bitch, god! Bitch, what's what? wrong with your face? Bitch, why are you in the woods? Yeah, she's like, first of all, she's just standing here in the corner of a lake on top of some fucking flowers. And second of all, look at look at the fucking angle of her jaw. <laughs> she probably looks like a fucking Simpsons character. She has no chin. Oh, See, this guy's some... got a fucking chin. You want that? You want some now? He's got a defined face. Oh, he, he's got some he's got some masculine face. Yeah, so they got a pecker right there and a double kick. That thing don't fucking dive? Oh yeah, dive is in this game. I keep forgetting that this is actually... Oh, you just gave me some worthless fucking fruit that's literally fucking everywhere. Do you really expect old people to actually be helpful? Uh, the only thing they're good for is... Like population control okay. when they get behind the wheel. I think I need the pokey nap. <laughs> and hard candy. You can't forget your hard tapas. I'm sorry, you're not allowed up here. Oh, I gotta beat the fucking gym. Wait, what are these rocks here? Gym Corporation starts as stones, quarries, produces iron, fillings with sand, or blah, 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 text. That's what I was saying in the first episode, was there's way too much fucking talking in these games. Like, that's why I hated Sun and Moon. I really wanted to like that fucking game. I, I got Sun thinking, this is gonna be a whole new thing. Um, you know, there's no gyms in this. I was like, well, I mean, I'll give it a shot. And it's like, what the fuck is Pokemon without gyms, really? I mean, they don't even have a full <laughs> Pokedex to complete. It's, it's like... The it's whole Pokemon Snap. Yeah, well, no, it's, it's funny you say that because they added a camera feature oh, Jesus. that lets you use, like, um, not augmented reality, but sort of like the reverse. Like, for example, turning your DS physically will make your point of view shift in the game. But, like, it's, it's a... It's, like, meant to be, like, some cute little fucking feature, but it just ends up feeling like a chore. <laughs> like... When you okay, so when you get the Rotodex, it's a fucking ro it's a Pokemon inside. This is not where I need to be. It's a Pokemon inside of your Pokedex, and it talks to you and it gives you helpful hints. It's supposed to be. It's more. It's mostly just nonsense. Like oh, you click A to fucking interact with the. You know, it's like it doesn't actually tell you where you should be, uh, except for. Um, occasionally, like, during the main story, you'll get, like, quest markers, which I thought was really fucking odd, because these games are so fucking linear. It, I find, I, and, and especially this one, too, because it holds your hand the whole fucking way. I thought, literally, I finished the game not knowing that I, that I wasn't in the tutorial anymore. It's literally that hand-holding. But, the bottom line is, with the, the fucking Rotodex shit, um... It, it has a fake, like, social media thing. Like, you take a photo and then based on, like, certain attributes that aren't fully explained uh, qualities with the photo, like the angle, the zoom, and everything, it, it posts, like, this fake social media site and it'll say random shit about your picture. Like, it, like it, it actually knows what it looks like. And, um... It just felt like everything wrong with Instagram in a Pokemon game. And I just thought to myself, why is this in here? why and not only that but they've included this this feature in the uh i don't know if they're sequels or what they are um ultra sun and ultra moon i don't know if they're parallel like how the game we're playing emerald now is a parallel to ruby and sapphire but the whole thing just comes off as really fucking retarded what the fuck that's not what i meant to do okay there we go i need a water type here so, 
Yeah, your assessment was pretty fucking accurate. Oh, fucking hell. You're quiet, John. You're scaring me. What are you thinking? I'm trying to figure out why you're beating the shit out of a shrub. Because <laughs> for some reason that shrub is a rock type. If you what? Can, if you can fucking believe... Yes, it's clearly... It says Bonsly right there, is in, or Bonsly is in Bonsai Tree. But for some reason it's a rock type. That's... That makes almost as much sense as Hillary Clinton's email policy. <laughs> Alright, we got this fucking hermit crab situation. This fucking troglodyte. <laughs> fucking trogs, man. <laughs> Motherfucking trogs. <laughs> Alright, here we go, Roxanne. Roxanne! You don't have to put on the red light! Topping out the mic, turning down the volume. That's a horny pebble. Rock! <laughs> oh my fuck! Nope. Oh boy. Speed that bitch. All right. Well, um, I guess we'll beat this and then we'll call this an episode. Well, no, look, it went from 18 minutes to 32 minutes on here. I cut it down, it makes it about 10. Yeah, I know, it's, it's fucking unbelievable, right? A little bit. Just, oh, there's an episode right there. There's, there's your fucking content. John, with any luck, will be back with me here when we get done with this. But I want to beat this broad across the face with my fucking double-kicking chicken. So, hashtag double, double. Will, will change. The what, not double, double-kicking chicken? The musket. It is. It's got it right in the name. It's get combust. It's fi fire there, and then can is the part of the chicken. I, 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 I thought it was like Ken and Ryu because of Devil Kick. You know, Hadouken, oh, that shit. you know what? It could be, but I'm. Hmm. Ooh, got you fucking thinking now. Yeah, I didn't think of that. The the, the whole fighting aspect of this is based on kicking. <coughs> All which the way is, up to Blaziken. Which was what Ken was good for, besides being a total pussy. Yeah, I actually didn't consider that. I just assumed that it was because it was the chicken. <laughs> I mean, it is, but that could it could be a double on time, but it's not. It wouldn't be the first time. True. <laughs> Tertuga. <laughs> Tertuga. There, I got that Tertuga and that Arkin. There, my fuck Arkin. I got that arching. <laughs> I got that fucking. I gotta. I gotta. Got that there fucking arching. We got ourselves a good old fashioned cockfight over here. And he uh, did. Uh, well, I mean, I'm massively overpowered for this fucking thing. I mean, Combustion's this, almost at level 30 now because I've been grinding. This nigga's name is no pa Nose Pass. The only thing that that nigga couldn't pass was for a nose. Hey, dude, you wanna see something even. Even worse. Hold on. Oh God. You want to see its evolved form? Oh Jesus! Please tell me what it looks like. I know I typed in P, and I'm sure Pornhub came up first. What? What does this look like to you? That that looks like an '80s porn star wearing a Lego cap. It looks like Men Without Hats had a Jew member that nobody knew about. Cause look at that schnoz. Damn, that looks like a good 401k and bank account. I mean, just, out. no, come on, we gotta get this on fucking camera. Where the fuck is, I gotta, oh, fucking hell. Dude, look at that, schnoz, look at that. We just got really fucking anti-Semitic for some reason. Oh shit, you better lose all your viewers like PewDiePie, just kidding. He's yeah, never had viewers, I never had any either. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest, nobody's fucking watching this except for the 23 people that always tune in. They're, they're the same people who've been subbed to me since fucking, uh, I want to say February. Just remember, you guys are real MVPs. You probably get a life, but you're still the real MVPs here. I'm looking at you, Seth. <laughs> Seth, this... <laughs> 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 fucking direct call-outs. Jesus. Uh, I'm such a faggot. Alright, so th that's the end of this episode. Uh, like, favorite, subscribe, or don't. Um, like we said before, if you're watching this, you probably are subscribed, and this is, this is, uh, 
This is a little bit of G-Man preaching in the choir ministries right, 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 right now. Right, right. We just want you to become a little altar boy if we're the ministry. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I made a joke about one guy's penis in the last episode. Or no, it was episode one. I was talking about his, his, he's talking about hentai games, right? He can go, I'm never going to let this go now. He goes, I play hentai games for the story and the characters. I even got a little bit of drool going for the little weeaboo shit. And I was like, no, no, just fucking no. All right, see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Uh